everyone, it's Elise and you are watching the Ready Stare channel where I bring you plus size fashion, travel, and lifestyle content both on here and on my blog, readytostare.com. Today, we are back with an all new swimwear review. This is 2024 plus size swimsuits that you can find on Amazon. I have done one of these reviews every single year for as long as I can remember. And uh, this year, I felt like there wasn't a lot of new swim on Amazon for plus size folks. I don't know if we can blame Ozempic for that or what, but I did what I could, but I didn't have as many options as I usually do. Maybe they're still making them, I don't know. But in any case, I gave you what I could find. There's some good, there's some not as good, but I'm gonna show it to you all. So let's go ahead and dive in. Our first suit here is from Cupshe. This is the only suit where I was able to purchase the top and the bottoms separately. Why is this important? Because I am two different sizes on the top and the bottom. So for the top, I was able to get a 2X and for the bottom, I was able to get a 3X. So I think as a result, I think that this one fits me the best. It has kind of like a terry cloth looking ribbed fabric. It has kind of more of a substantial looking clasp here in the back has thick straps this one says i am plus size friendly and it certainly felt that way it's also the most expensive but it's still amazon it's not that expensive so it has uh, molded cups built in and for the bottoms it has a nice thick ribbed um, waistband and pretty high waisted but not super high cut so the fupa was contained this one I think I really like it. But the reason I bought it was to pair with this cover up, which did not fit. Let me show you. So I got that blue bikini because I just really needed something to wear under this crochet halter dress. And I've been wanting one like this. I got a white one and it just didn't look on me the way that I had hoped. So I went for the blue. The blue was the style I wanted but it was way too small. As you can see, it did not fit over the hips. It is pretty much like the same width all the way down. And so the hips, it just got to the hips and it did not go down. Um, so I was able to try it on just to show you what it looks like, but not like as it would be worn full length. So she's gonna have to go back. This is an XXL. I know I don't wear an XXL, but if I can't find this, my actual size, I'll just get the biggest size and see if it works if the stretch is there. The stretch is not there here. So if you're a true XXL or an XL, this will work, but if you're like me and you're a three X on the bottom, it's not for us. All right, we've got another blue option. This is our only one piece. Um, I definitely like it, you know, it has the molded cups. Other than that, no structure, but I love the thick straps and I love that you can tie them tighter. That to me is a huge selling point of this one. And I like the marbly looking pattern. It doesn't look super fake, which is what a lot of these look when they have patterns on them and they're this cheap. So it doesn't look super fake. What I like is that it did come with this skirt. What's interesting is that this part is the same as the swimsuit fabric and then this part is sheer. And um, I got this in the 4X, but it doesn't actually kind of like tie all the way around. It does, but it leaves like quite a bit of your leg showing. So that to me is just interesting. Um, and that's really just a personal choice. I got it because I really liked the suit. This was just like a bonus. Um, but I think the way it fits is interesting. I'm on the fence about this one, so let me know if you think I should keep it. Next up, we have this cheetah print two-piece. Uh, I ordered it in a 4X because that was the biggest size available, and I just had a feeling that it was going to run small. So 4X, I would say, fits more like a 3X, maybe even a 2X. Um, and what I like about it is this bandage bottom here, and I really like the keyhole here at the um, at the middle of the bust. I did not love the straps, although they are adjustable. It just they felt way too flimsy for me. And then on the bottoms, they are pretty high cut. So something to keep in mind if you are not into a high cut swimsuit, but it does come up higher on your stomach and then you have the bandage sides. Um, I'm on the fence because this is my aesthetic. I love cheetah print. I am mob wife all the time. It's not an era, it's a lifestyle. And I love this one, but I just don't know. The straps to me, 
oh, just makes me weary. I hate a thin, tiny bikini strap. God forbid a wave comes at the end of my swimsuit. Full disclosure of all the suits that I tried, this one was my least favorite. Um, it comes in a few different colors, which I do like. Um, it is just a string halter, but this part is adjustable, which kind of helps in the chest area. So it's not exactly like wearing a string bikini. There is like uh, some help here, which I need. Uh, Saggy Titty Committee would unite. But um, this part just kept kind of getting twisted and the white hip showing, you'll probably see that in the try-on. So I just feel like the, the idea was good. The execution was not. Um, it does have this kind of big back panel, which is nice. I got it in a 4X, the biggest size that they had, and definitely would say the 4X fits more like a 3 or a 2X, so just beware that it's not a true 4X. Here are the bottoms. Um, definitely more high cut, not so much fabric. Again, this one just wasn't my favorite fit. There's nothing wrong with it if you're looking for the halter style or you want kind of the triangle cut look. This is an option. It just wasn't the option that I love the most, but maybe it's for you. This one, arguably the most fun and colorful option. If you have been watching these for a while, you know I am always looking for fun and colorful pieces. This was really the only one that struck my eye this year, and I really like it color-wise, but I am not so much like a tankini, ruffles, cover the stomach type of gal, so that part of it, I don't love but I love the pattern um, it does have uh, removable straps that come up somewhat easily and I don't know why you would put removable straps on a top that has no structure and is super flimsy as it is with the straps I felt like it was gonna fall off so for me the print is here but the quality is not and here's the matching bottoms they're just orange pretty high cut but you really can't see them uh, when they're on. So I got this one in a 4X and I would say it probably fits more like a 3. From this year's plus size swim haul, this suit is probably my favorite. It has the one strap, which feels a little more modern and current than some of the other styles, plus like the squiggle wave in the black and cream. It just felt more modern. Is it the best fit? No, but like we're going with it because it's the best <laughs> of what we tried here. Uh, this is a 4X and you can see the bottoms are quite covering, which I like, but it also comes with this really cute sheer cover up. So if you are at like a beach club or something and you have to just throw a cover up on, this one matches. I love red, so I could definitely see this like paired really well with like red nails, red um, lip. So yeah, this one was the winner for me, not really because of the fit, but more so because of the pattern and the fact that like it was good enough, it'll get the job done. Uh, hopefully it doesn't fall down. I will be wearing this one to Bali, so I'll let you know how it works wearing it in real life. For the try on, I was like, this will do. So there you have it, the 2024 plus size swimwear from Amazon try on. I don't know. I, I, I usually feel more excited and I'm just not very excited. Hopefully more will be released, but by this time, uh, this year it's about spring break time. There's usually a lot more new styles released. So we will see if the divestment in plus size fashion impacts and trickles down all the way to fast fashion. Uh, we will see. Um, maybe I'm just overanalyzing it and I could be totally wrong, but let me know if you feel like there's less options for plus size swim overall, because I kind of feel like there is. Despite all that, I think I had some good options, definitely some wearable stuff. I will be wearing some of these in Bali, so you'll be seeing them probably over on my Instagram or my TikTok these days, um, and maybe over here on YouTube Shorts. So make sure you are following me everywhere at Ready to Stare, and I will see you next time. Bye.